Are you getting stuck in Docker containers and don't know how to get out? Here are a few ways to exit a Docker container. Which one will work for you depends on the container you started, the way you started it, and what programs run in it. Let's get to it. First option, you are stuck in the shell. You can tell that you are in a shell by looking at how it looks like. If there is a user and the name of your machine, which is usually a gibberish of numbers and characters, you are probably in a container shell. You can get into one by running a command like this one. How to get out of it is quite easy. You either type exit or you press Ctrl and D together. So you press Ctrl, keep it pressed, and then you press the letter D. And basically what it does is it types out exit and enter, and then usually you should get out of the container. Second option, what if you ran a container with a non-shell foreground process? You can tell because your terminal is occupied and it doesn't look like a shell. Now, here is where the fun begins. Either it's a well-behaved command. In that case, when you press Ctrl C, it will get a sick int, a signal telling that an interrupt is happening. React to it, it will exit like a well-behaved program does. Or it doesn't. In this case, I've started the tail minus F, and for some reason, it just doesn't react. So I try pressing Ctrl C, I try pressing Q, nothing works. Now we can use the third method to deal with this kind of thing. If you are in a container and you want to send a foreground running container process into the background, here's how you do it. I'm Really sure this works for Linux and Mac. I'm not quite sure about Windows, but um, if you know you can do it, maybe you can look up how it works. Namely, you press Ctrl and P, and then you press Ctrl Q. Do them one after the other. And what it does, it, it does not kill the command running. It barely sends it to the background. So the container is still running. We can check it with Docker PS. You see, there's the container. And uh, now all that's left to do is, first of all, we've got the terminal back, yay. Uh, second of all, if you want to stop this kind of process, you can do it as you would stop a background container. And this is the last case. So if uh, sometimes it's hard to see if a background container is running. You can find out by looking at Docker PS. It shows you all running containers. And then you just look up the number on the left, you remember the first three or four characters, and you type docker stop followed by these few characters, usually they are unique. And what it does in the background is it sends a sick term to the container. So if you tell docker to stop this container, first of all, it sends a sick term to it, it waits for a certain amount of time, and then if the container does not react, it gets a sick kill, which is not something the container can react to. It just stops. And there you have it. The background container, the badly behaved background container isn't there anymore. If you want to remove it, you can tell Docker RM to remove the same container ID. Now the container is stopped, but it's still lingering. And if you want to get rid of it for good, Docker RM is your friend. But uh, that's about it. This is how you can exit a Docker container. I hope this helped you. If it did, make sure to subscribe and like and leave a comment below. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.